we just got this in. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna look at it. I'll show you all the details, the ports. You know, a close-up look. Like if you, well, it's gonna be hard to hold this in your hand. But like if you were holding the item in your hand or you were looking at it in the store, I like to give that kind of view in my video. So I'll give you, I'll show you all the ports and all that information. Um, I'm gonna try out the Android TV. I'm curious about that to try it out. Now, when it comes to TVs, the best. And this is just my view. I'm a regular guy. I, I have uh, no experience. I am not a TV installer or a TV expert. I'm a regular Joe Schmo who likes gadgets, big TVs, playing video games, uh, and doing YouTube videos and taking pictures and all that other stuff. So take this with a grain of salt as I'm just a regular Joe Schmo. That being said, all detailed information will follow the video. If you want to wait, it'll be electronically read to you. That's up to you. But this is going to be an unboxing, a look at, give you a close-up look so that if you were in the store, you'd see what you're getting. Um, and that's, you know, and let you know how I feel about the Android TV, if it's easy to set up um, or anything like that. But that being said, I think so far, the best built-in app. Now I say this because I have the LG, I forget the name of the app that LG TVs come with. I think it's the worst. I don't like it. Nothing against anybody else who likes it. I mean no harm, no negativity. I don't like it. It crashes on me or whatever. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't like it. I have three LG TVs and they don't work well at all. The only app that I've seen work really well installed on TVs is the Roku app. That thing works flawlessly. I have the Roku app on, I'm gonna say about four TVs, most of them small TVs, like 20 and 19, 20, 27 inches, I believe, or 132, in that size range. Flawless, works flawlessly, install of new apps, easy through the app store, uh, through the app itself. It, it's really easy to install apps and stuff like that, uh, works, really well i have no complaints whatsoever so we're gonna try out the android tv and see how it works um see if i like it so let's do the unboxing and a close-up look of the item now just to mention before i go to that 70 inches 70 inches i cannot believe it the only reason i didn't go to 75 is because i need to put it on this cart or this unit uh it has wheels and i move it around we play our vr game down here in the basement and I like to move it around whether we're watching TV or we need the TV out of the way. This is awesome. I just push it out of the way, which is great. I got the PlayStation 4 on there, uh, the Apple TV. Hopefully I won't need that and the Android TV will do just fine, but we'll see what happens. So this is a 50 or 55 inch LG TV and I'll be replacing this with that 70 inch TV. The cart itself only holds 70 inches. So that's the only reason I didn't go to 75. Now, mind you, 70 inches or 75 inches would not do well in a small area. You need 10, 15, 20, 30 feet distance so that you can watch this comfortably. I have that in the basement. It's an unfinished basement. I could just go anywhere I want. Uh, so I have more than enough distance. So let's uh, set it up.
The stands are like a uh, aluminum, pretty heavy. Let me give you a measurement of the longest part of the stand. Almost seven. Shortest part of the stand, five. I'm assuming the longest will be facing forward. And the total area that it's gonna sit on just in case you're trying to figure out if the shelf or the TV area you're gonna place this on with the stand. I'm not using the stands, but just in case, it's 11 inches. So you need an 11 inch space to put the TV on these stands. It's a power cable, standard two prong power cable. See how long this is. Uh, over five feet. This is the manual or the quick start guide or whatever have you. I will have this at the end on the slideshow. Comes with uh, four screws. It should be for the actual stand itself. You hang it with the stand on the TV so that way if I ever change my mind and I'm moving the TV and I need it on the stand I don't have to search for it and find it somewhere. This is the actual screw that is used to install the legs. Just in case that information is helpful I'm not sure it's for them. And then we have the remote. close-up look of the remote. That's the actual, just in case, I'll be taking pictures of this, but if you have 10,000 remotes, you don't know which one's for which, that's the model number for this TV. And I, It'll stand, that's pretty cool, it stands on itself. Uh, you can stand it up vertically. About one and a half, one and a half. See the height of the remote. It takes uh, two AAA batteries. This is the back of the remote. These are the batteries that come here. Sorry about that. Uh, never heard of this brand. And that's the remote it comes with. I mean, the battery it comes with. For the remotes.
go. Let's take a look at the back. Two USBs. Compar composite or RCA. HDMI 4, there's four HDMI ports. HDMI 3, 2. HDMI 1 with ARC or ARC. Antenna, I have over the air antenna. Headphones digital audio out, Ethernet, 10100, that's interesting, and a service port, I guess to service the unit. So I may have to use Ethernet. I gotta see if it has Wi-Fi. Most TVs have Wi-Fi. Let's see what the setup says. I'll probably end up using Ethernet even if it has Wi-Fi because Ethernet will always be better than Wi-Fi. Connection wise. 4K contact wise. That's the whole back. It comes with the screws from it looks like it comes with the screws for mounting. This is the mounting hardware for the cart. And let me see if I can use the screws that came already. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be able to use that. So no looking for screws if you're going to mount it. It's right here. Let's screw that in. All done, let's mount the TV.
everything's set up everything's working and now i'll try out the tv for a while it is huge it is big i'm going to be using my computer to play some 4k videos i'm going to be using the app to play uh 4k let's say netflix and things like that it's big it is very big it's gonna be fun to be playing uh ps4 and 4k and the vr at its highest resolution now the person wearing the vr headset is not gonna see it but we will so it's gonna be pretty cool the whole tv setup it's uh i'm very happy with this car i like it and it allows me to just move the tv or the car or anything having to do with this uh, TV, whether I want to play VR here or somewhere else on the other side of the home, it's easy, you just wheel it away. It's pretty cool um, and I like it. So I'm gonna try out the TV for about a week and I'll give you my final thoughts on it. Again, I'm just an amateur guy. I'm just gonna let you know how I feel about it. It's a lot bigger than the 50 inch I had on there. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, we're gonna be able to, we're gonna have to push this all the way back so we can view uh, some content. So it's gonna be interesting and uh, we'll see how everybody likes it. I plugged it in through Ethernet. I have a switch in the back on the cart in the back. I have a wire tie to switch to this. It's 10 100. Uh, it does have the option for Wi Fi, but I'd rather use physical connection. So let's come back in about a week and I'll let you know if it, uh, yay or nay, if is it worth it. I can't believe, I mean, I paid literally $500 for this after taxes and everything. $500 for a 70 inch TV. Wow, we've come a really long way. <laughs> I remember paying almost $2,000 for a Sony Bravia 2D comb filter, 500 or 1,000 lines. The thing w was so heavy, it took three or four of us to actually carry it out of the store. I bought the display model, and that was about 1500 or 1700. We're talking about very early 90s. And now, you know, two guys can carry this. Even one guy, being careful, can carry this or drag this. And it's amazing. We've come a long way. Plus, it's 4K. It's not that big, giant tube anymore. So it's gonna be interesting to try, play, use. I'm gonna be playing my VR with it. Uh, PlayStation 4, watching some movies and some Netflix content and other content, YouTube content and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty uh, interesting. Um, so I'll come back and I'll let you know. Again, I'm just a regular guy. I'll let you know how I feel about the TV, the quality, how it looks, how, how nice or not nice it is. Is it worth it? Um, and at the end, I'll have a lot of details read. If you want to hear all the details in regards to this item, it'll be read at the end during a slideshow of uh, some pictures I've taken of the item. So that'll be at the end. So let's come back in a week and I'll let you know. I just want to mention I'm a regular guy. I am no TV expert. I'm a person who buys gadgets and likes to try them out and share them on YouTube with others. That's it. Uh, I am no expert of anything. I'm a regular person coming, my review or my view on the item is coming from a person who is not super knowledgeable. It's someone who, it comes from someone who buys something, a product, tries it out, and lets you know how a Joe Schmo would feel about the product. That's it. I am not an expert. So this is not a super TV expert. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not responsible for anything. I, I, I don't. I want you to make sure that you make your own decisions when it comes to reviewing this. Don't go by what I say. Uh, be advised by what I say. You know, whether it's helpful or not. But uh, I can't be held responsible as I am not a super expert. I'm just a regular Joe Schmo. TV buying person from Best Buy and that's it. So after using, that being said, after using the TV, I'm gonna say for about two weeks, now two and a half weeks, the, the pros, there's not many of them, the pros, 
it is big. It is really big. It is, um, it's big, it's big. It has four HDMI ports, which is great. Now the HDMI one, the ARC HDMI one, to my understanding, there's no 4K on that. So that's only the highest is 1080p on that. That's built for installing uh, HD systems. Let's say you had a sound system that took HDMI or a switching type of system that worked through an HDMI port with the TV. That's what you use that for. The other three ports are 4K capable. So I have one of the ports connected directly to my computer, which is right behind the TV, right there. That's where my computer is. It has a 1080 uh, NVIDIA video card. Um, I forget which version. The uh, memory version. And uh, 4K content, beautiful. Looks great. Uh, Picture's good, it's okay. Now, as a regular person, I did no test or anything. So just I'm just going by what I saw with my own eyes. Uh, I got my kids' opinions also. My wife could care less. <laughs> uh, you know, we come from the days of black and white, uh, snowy TVs. We couldn't see a huge difference in quality of video. Now, the 4K, it was nice, but how many of us really watch 4K? Like. I don't uh, really stream 4K content. I don't have 4K content. So don't we don't use it. It's nice to see it and you go on YouTube or another website and you're looking for 4K content. And there's a, a few Blu-rays that I have that I was able to display some 4K content. But for the most part, 1080p is what we normally use through Netflix, Hulu, and those other applications is what we use this the most for. So the 4K option is nice, but uh, 4K really, I just use it for monitors, for my monitors, so I can see uh, certain things in 4K when I'm uploading them in 4K, so I can get an idea of how it's gonna look. For TV, 1080p is fine. I come from black and white TV time, so, you know, uh, it's amazing the color already, so it doesn't, uh, take a lot for me to be satisfied with the picture. I'm satisfied with it coming out clear, nice, non-lagging, and that the audio and the video sync with each other. That's all I care about. So the 4K is nice, but it's not, you know, I got it for that and for the size, and I was hoping uh, it would be nice to get theatrical type of view, but no one was really impressed. Uh, my daughter actually doesn't like this, but I'll get into why she doesn't like the TV. Um, but overall, they didn't see a big difference in what they watched besides the TV just being huge, okay? The Android TV application, I'll get to that on the negatives, but one of the good things is that if, you're, if you get this TV and you have Android TV, make sure to get the VLC application works really well you can search your network and stream network shares uh, videos music whatever you have uh, it's pretty cool and uh, you can stream it directly to the TV I didn't see any lag in that I didn't see any issues any problems it just worked really well so that's an application I would definitely get if I get this TV for the Android TV uh, and that's probably about it. I don't have anything else to say about it. Um, the card I have, this is the maximum size TV and weight that I could put on it. So I was ready for that. But for what we use the TV for, if I can even say this with a straight face, it's just too big. It is a big, big TV. Okay, that being said, let's go to the negatives. No volume numbers. Now, I know that sounds petty, but my magic number on the other TV I had in this cart was 12. Once I set it to 12, it was loud enough for me to hear, low enough for everyone else not to hear. So if I'm down here uh, during the day and everyone's in school or at work upstairs, I can sit in front of the TV, set the volume to 12, and I know I'm not disturbing anyone. With this, 
I, you know, you don't notice the uh, sound or anything. You don't, unless you have it really loud or really low, if it's in the middle, you're not gonna know the how loud it really is or if anyone up, upstairs can pick it up. So with the other TV, it had numbers. 12 was the magic number. With this, it just has lines. I don't like the line. I don't like it. I, I can't get the exact number. Don't like that. Okay, that's one. Two, no light on the remote. Now, I know it's a $500 TV. I could get another universal remote. But the actual remote that it comes with, no light in the dark. You cannot see anything here. Even the buttons feel similar. And you're always pressing the wrong ones. And you end up having to get up, turn on the light to see what you're pressing because you can't see anything. So no light on the remote. Not easy. The buttons are not identified easily. They're too close together. It, it's, uh, I don't like the remote at all. Okay. The remote is not comfortable. It, it slides off your hand. If you hold it wrong, it constantly slides out of your hand, off your hands. It, you have to get a good grip. And if you are holding the remote down here, you will have one hand, you can't get high enough. So you have to kind of shift it downward to get to everything else. So you're always shifting your hand on the remote. The remote is awful. The Google TV app, awful. Sluggish, slow, uh, I don't like it. A lot of times, if I'm trying to turn on and off the TV, Okay, Okay. now it comes on. It's slow to turn on, as you saw that, I'm pressing it. And what happens is I'll press the, the on and off button two or three times. So the on and off is sluggish in that when you press it, okay, and you press it again, sometimes you end up pressing it again, thinking it hasn't turned on, but it's just so slow to turn on. Okay, there it goes. So there's too much of a, uh, of a delay for me and in, in the dark, you're constantly pressing the remote, it's not turning on. As you're turning it on, you're turning it off, or you're turning it off, you're turning it on. It's, it, I don't like it. I don't like the remote, I don't like the sluggishness. The TV, the Google app itself, uh, sluggish, slow. It hasn't really crashed. Maybe a couple of apps it, clap, it crashed on, but uh, it worked. It was just slow. It's just slow, there's a delay. And sometimes you end up pressing the button more than one time, passing your um, what you want to pick, or uh, picking the wrong thing. It, I don't like it. Um, and the deal breaker. I watch Direct TV. That is my app that I watch. I watch it 99% of the time over Netflix or Hulu. They don't have Direct TV. Uh, natively on the app store. You can sideload it, but I don't want to do that. I'm a regular person, regular Joe Schmo buying a TV. I just want it to work. And Direct TV is the deal breaker for me. Um, I wanted to get a smart TV, 4K, 70 inch, to not have to use my Apple TV, but I can't use it because uh, Direct TV is not available on the Android TV, so I'm always switching back to the Apple TV. So I don't like that. It also doesn't have auto sensing on the TV. So let me give you an example. On my old TV, if I turned on the PlayStation, it would automatically switch to that HDMI port. I looked in the settings, I can't find it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe I can't find it. But this is the kind of frustrating stuff that I, I, I really don't like. I think TV should automatically come with that. If you're gonna provide four HDMI ports, all four HDMI ports should auto sense to what you're turning on. So if I turn on my PlayStation, which I have on right now, it should switch. It's not, my other TV switches. No issues whatsoever, this doesn't. Don't like that, that's another deal breaker for me. Um, it has five gigs of built-in space of what I saw, about five gigs of built-in space. You can add additional space through one of the USB ports back here, that's pretty cool. You can you can add more space to it. I don't know what the maximum, I think it's gonna, 
Uh, I'm hoping there is no maximum. Uh, and you could put a 256 in here. That would be pretty cool. So you could add it as additional space or you could use it to watch some media. I used uh, FAT32 as the file system to put in some media and it played just fine. I used VLC. There's no built-in Android app that'll play it. So you have to get one from the app store. I used VLC and it played it just fine and no issues whatsoever. Uh, another thing about HDMI ports, it comes with four, which is great, but uh, the HDMI one, the ARC port is for, I think that's for like, if you have a sound system that takes an HDMI, HDMI input or any kind of system that requires an HDMI input, a switcher or whatever have you, that's what that's for. Um, but it doesn't have any, um, it doesn't have any 4K capability to my knowledge. I couldn't get 4K on that. I could only get 4K on these three things um, that connected it to my computer. I have my computer right behind the actual system and it has a NVIDIA 1080 video card. And um, I made this the main monitor and it was great at 4K, uh, very clear quality. Uh, 4K picture is excellent. Awesome in 4K. The only difference is that in non-4K, regular 1080p, I found that the last TV I had, the LG one that I had up here, had kind of a better picture. I can't explain it. It was just a better picture. Even though this has, I think it's 120 hertz refresh rate, and the one TV I had up here was only 60, it still, I don't know, it looked better. And it, this that's coming from me and my daughter. Me, my daughter and I use this TV the most down here. So... We found that the 4K, unless it was in 4K, if it was non-4K, 1080p, the picture quality was kind of the same. We didn't notice the difference. We're not huge gamers, so we can't tell the difference in regards to speed. So that doesn't, uh, you know, that's not us. That doesn't find us. Well, we just want to watch TV. So we found that the picture quality on the other one was kind of like more vibrant, the, the colors pop more so I don't know it could be a setting in there I'm not sure I played around and I still couldn't get it to something similar to what we had but again that's just me I'm no expert this is just my view I'm a regular Joe Schmo uh, doing this video for any other Joe Schmo who's looking at this TV the input is laggy too so It's not as fluent as my other TV, and it's not automatic. I, I just, uh, of course, it's behaving now, but <laughs> sometimes it just gets really laggy, and you end up passing your HDMI port. It's really weird. So if we go to HDMI 4, you'll see the PlayStation coming up, and um, you ha again, you have to pick the input, and it could be a little laggy. It's working great now, but uh, let's do HDMI one. I think there's nothing on there. Let's go back to the Apple TV. Okay, so I just want to add that there's nothing really wrong with the TV at all. Uh, it's a good TV, I think, 70 inches, 4K. It's awesome. It's just not suiting our needs. Um, I thought my kids were gonna be super excited and you know, it, they just wasn't there. My, my daughter wants the other one. She says that the other one, she liked it better. She's eight years old and she's telling me the, uh, the negatives on this TV. She says it's too big for her. She doesn't like it. She likes the smaller one. Uh, she likes the picture quality. Uh, she likes the ease of use. An eight-year-old, she goes, this one's too hard to use, too, it's too complicated. Um, she says that the other one was really easy to use. She liked the auto HDMI thing. And also with the other one, the remote was a lot easier to use. The buttons were identified better than this remote. Whereas with this, again, like I said, you have to either hold it down here and control here or hold it up here and control up here. It's not comfortable, it's weird shaped. At night, you can't see anything. With the other one there, it has no 
light either on the remote, but it's easier to hold, it's smaller, and it's easier to identify the buttons. The buttons were different shapes, so you knew exactly where you were, what your finger was touching. Uh, with this, they're too similar, so you don't know, um, like these two buttons, you gotta remember Netflix, if it's dark, Netflix or YouTube. Um, yeah, we, we're we not big fans of the remote at all, or the TV. The TV's going back. I'm a regular Joe Schmo. There's nothing wrong with the TV. The TV's working fine. It's just not suiting our needs. It's not giving us, uh, I don't know, it's not, I, I want the old one back. I, I just don't know how to put it. I want the old one back. There's nothing wrong with the TV. If you want a big, huge TV, fine. You have the space, fine. I find that the other one, uh, it's non 4K, 1080p LG TV. I think I paid $200 for it. It's a 50 inch, it was on special. And uh, it's a non smart TV. So everything's controlled by the Apple TV. So it makes it easier to do many, many things over you trying to use the Google Android TV. I don't like the Android TV. But before we leave, let me get my daughter's take. So before we end the video, my daughter is going to give her opinion on it since me and her use the TV the most. So tell us, do you like the TV? You don't. I I like the TV, but it's a little too big. And when I just turned it on, it come on, starts come over like here. that can. instead of the, it starts like, when I turn it on, it starts like that. And it doesn't like show, it doesn't automatically go to the Apple TV. So you use the Apple TV the most when you press the Apple TV, nothing happens. With the other TV, when you press the Apple remote, the TV goes on by itself, right? You don't even need the remote. Okay, so that's another thing. So it's like she was saying, the auto sensing is the biggest thing. And it's kind of too big, huh? It's like when you're sitting in front of it, it's too big for you? Mm -hmm. Anything else you have to say about it? I actually like, but I do like it because I mean, like it's too big, but I, but it, but it, I still, but it's. You it's like the big. other one better? Is that what it is? It's big, but it's a little too. It's a little too big. It could be small. It, I wish it could be smaller. Okay. But how about the controls, the remote? Did you like the remote at all? It's a, it's a unique shape. It's a unique shape. Anything else? You don't, but you don't mind that I take this back if I put the other one back, right? Yeah. I you like mind. the other one better? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I removed the TV from the stand, very easy to do. And what I'm gonna do is gonna give a detailed look at it again, right before I end the video, so you get an idea in regards to what you're getting with the TV. Like I said, I got nothing against it. Let me put it on the table so it's easier to look at. Like I said, this thing is huge, huge, really big. As you can see it on my table, it is a big TV. Nice big TV. Let's turn it around so I give you more detailed look. But first, like I said, those are the stands. Did I measure how far the stands? Can you do me a favor, son? Can you come here? This is everything that comes inside the remote with batteries, the uh, power connection, and the manual. Can you pull on this? Just hold it right to there. Uh, so from over there to over here, it's uh, about 53 and a half inches. So that's how much, I would say 54 inch table. If you're gonna put it on a table, you're gonna need a 54 inch table to cover the TV stand. Let's turn it around so I can show you the back. Again, a close up look.
Comes with the screws to mount it already. There's four of them. The power connection. And that's it. So this is gonna be the end of the video. I'm doing a return. So before I end the video, just to let you know, you have to return it to the store. There is no returning it to UPS. I really was hoping, I doubt it. I, I, I mean, this box uh, is huge, uh, but they're not gonna take it at the UPS store. So I guess it, got, it has to be hand delivered. Uh, by because this wasn't delivered by UPS or FedEx it was delivered by Best Buy delivery and it looks like I'm gonna have to bring back the TV to them so um, I hope the video helps I hope it was informative somehow I hope you got something out of it again I'm no expert I'm just a regular guy who does some YouTube videos and that's it uh, if you have any questions uh, please feel free to ask them below thank you Please stand by for some real detailed info electronically read to you. If you don't want to hear that, skip that. If you want to hear it, it'll have all the details in regards to this item. Thank you. Bye. Sharp 70 inches inch class Aquas series LED 4K UHD smart Android TV model, 4TC70BK2 at SKU. 6,430,865, December 12, 2020. Cost, $479.99. Purchased on Best Buy's website, one of their daily deals. Vivo TV cart for LCD LED plasma flat panel stand with wheels mobile fits 37 inches to 70 inches, stand TV 01B. Cost, $76.99. HTTPS colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash GP slash product slash B O O G tech four slash ref equals PPX underscore yo underscore DT underscore B underscore ASIN underscore title underscore O O O underscore S O O question mark E equals U fate and equals one. Overview Description Sharp Aqua 70 inches class 69.5 inches diagonal 4K Full Array HDR Smart TV Programming includes Netflix, Disney, YouTube, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Pandora, Sling and HBO Now Remote control includes microphone for voice recognition, Google Assistant Features Backlight, Refresh Full Array LED, 120Hz Smart TV Android Voice recognition Google Assistant HDMI 2.0 4 inputs USB 2 inputs What's included? QSG Battery X2 Stand X2 Screw for Stand X4 AC cable Specifications Key specs Display type LED Resolution Info 4K 2160p Screen size class Info 70 inches High dynamic range HDR info Yes High dynamic range format Info HDR10 Hybrid log gamma HLG Backlight type Info Full array Refresh rate, info 60 Hz Smart platform, info Android TV Streaming services, info Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, Prime Video, YouTube Number of HDMI inputs 4. Works with
Info Google Assistant Voice Assistant built-in Info Google Assistant General Product Name 70 inches class aquas series led 4k uhd smart android tv brand sharp model number 4tc 70 bk2 ud model year 2020 color black color category black dimension height 35.7 inches 35.7 inches h width 61.8 inches 61.8 w sharp 70 inches class aquas series led 4k uhd smart android tv front underscore zoom screen size 70 inches screen size 70 inches 70 inches height with stand 38.5 inches 38.5 inches h Product height with stand 38.5 inches Product width Info 61.8 inches Product depth with stand 11.3 inches Product height without stand 35.7 inches Product depth without stand 2.9 inches Product weight with stand 57.6 pounds Product weight without stand 61.8 pounds Stand depth 11.3 inches Adjustable stand width Info No Box dimension Height 40.2 inches Width 65.6 inches Depth 7.9 inches Display Display type LED Resolution Info 4K 2160p Screen size Info 70 inches Screen size class Info 70 inches High dynamic range HDR info Yes High dynamic range format Info HDR10 Hybrid Log Gamma, HLG Picture Quality Enhancement Technology 4K Active HDR Backlight Type Info Full Array Dimming Type Info Frame Curved Screen No Refresh Rate Info 60Hz Brightness Info 300 candela per square meter maximum contrast ratio native info 4000 one closed captioning info yes languages displayed info english spanish 3d technology info no feature remote control type ir voice control smart capable info yes smart platform info android tv streaming services info netflix disney plus hulu prime video YouTube screen mirroring info yes screen mirroring technology Chromecast indoor or outdoor use info indoor TV slash DVD combo no text to speech info yes V chip info yes TV tuner info digital connectivity number of HDMI inputs for number of HDMI HDCP 2.2 inputs info for number of USB ports total info 2 HDMI audio return channel ARC info yes number of USB 2.0 ports 2 number of digital optical audio outputs 1 number of analog audio outputs 1 number of component video inputs info 0 number of composite video inputs info 1 number of DVI inputs info 0 RF antenna input info yes network compatibility built in Wi-Fi Ethernet Ethernet port S info yes Bluetooth enabled info yes Bluetooth version info 5.0 headphone jack yes compatibility visa wall mount standard info 400 mm by 400 mm works with info Google Assistant voice assistant built in info Google Assistant audio surround sound supported info Dolby audio built in speakers yes speaker output 20 watts built in speaker type info downward firing power energy star certified info no peak qualified info no estimated annual operating cost info 36 United States dollars estimated annual electricity use info 294 kilowatt hours rechargeable battery remote control no battery size remote control info AAA number of batteries required remote control two number of batteries included 
remote control, two battery type, remote control, alkaline included wall mount included no stand included yes cables included AC power warranty manufacturer's warranty, parts one year manufacturer's warranty, labor one year other UPC 0740003772640. Thank you.